We have reached the end of 2016. Hey guys, so for this video I thought I would do a review of my 2016. A lot happened this year. Um, some good, some bad, but I thought I would review it all for you. Also, I had to play around with the lighting in my room, so hopefully it's better. Um, I feel like I'm being blinded and like I'm in a spotlight, but hopefully it looks better on camera. I don't really need to probably intro this video, uh, so I'm just going to dive straight in to January. In January, a lot happened all on the same day, which was the 8th of January. Mainly, it's my mum's birthday. We went out to eat, and I have a bit of a phobia when it comes to like eating out and stuff. I don't particularly like eating out. I have anxiety and an eating disorder. They were a lot worse back then, especially my eating disorder. That's sort of fading now. Um, but when it came to eating out, I used to absolutely hate it. Um, I also had a blood test on the same day, and I don't think anyone is fond of blood tests that I went flying for the first time. Now I don't mean flying as in like on a commercial plane, I mean like in an RAF plane. Our school does this thing called CCF which is Combined Cadet Forces and I was part of the RAF. I was part of that year to go on trips and one of the trips that we went on was we went to go to an RAF base and we got to fly with real RAF cadets. This first time was the best time for me and you will see as I go on I slowly got more panicked when it came to it. Got up in the air and they sh like like cut the engine and we like nose dived for a bit. Give me the like negative g-force and positive g-force and all that. We did an aerobatic as well where he flew the plane along, dipped and then he flipped it upside down and flew along upside down for a little bit. Um, yeah that was pretty crazy. Um, I will try and insert some pictures of it on the screen. Also, how could I forget, PLL started. Nothing much happened in February except I was part of the house play. Our school um, makes it so that the year 12s organise the play and the year 10s are like the actors and the actresses. Our play was called Our Day Out and I played the part of a waitress. March, it was Easter obviously and I think I got a fair amount of chocolate which is always a plus. We also went on an RAF trip to the RAF Museum. Then in April um, we went to see Captain America Civil War which was really really good. I also went to London with my mum, I didn't film it that time. Then May, a lot of awesome things happened in May. So first of all I started playing the ukulele. One of my friends started a ukulele club um, at school and I joined it and instantly fell in love with playing the ukulele and I've been playing it for eight months now. I'm pretty proud of myself for that. Also I became a prefect. I also got my house colours which is an award for taking part at school and like doing stuff for your house. So I shall show you the tie that I got. You get your house colours, you just get a tie in the colour of your house and obviously I'm in the greenhouse, so um, I got a green tie. <laughs> I took my science GCSEs and I did really, really well in them. I got a A overall, and um, for those of you who want to know the individual grades, I got a B in chemistry, and I was like one, maybe two marks off an A, which is really annoying, um, and then I got an A in physics and an A in biology. So yeah, I was super proud of myself for that. I also went flying again. Um, this was sort of mixed in with my GCSEs, so I was kind of stressed about it. Um, and like I said earlier on, I got more and more panicked about the idea of going flying the more I did it. I nearly had a panic attack before I got on the coach, which was unfortunate. Um, but I phoned my mum up and she said that I shouldn't be putting pressure on myself because basically I felt that I had to do another sort of trick um because if, if you know me i absolutely hate roller coasters because i don't like the feeling of your stomach dropping and um so but like i really enjoyed flying last time and so i felt like i had to do another cool trick so like a loop the loop or something so yeah, i got myself worked up and i did end up going although i didn't end up going up for long because i was the last person to go flying you got to go up for 10 minutes but still i got some really nice photos also i forgot to mention when i say go flying like you're in the cockpit with like an RAF pilot but you also yeah, like they let you have a go flying the plane so yes I have flown a plane multiple times actually then in June we went to go see a Bruce Springsteen concert we took a long weekend away and um yeah that was just a really cool weekend we stayed in a hotel and then we went to see the concert and then the hotel had a swimming pool so we went swimming we went flying again although i didn't go that time because i had got myself so worked up over going flying um i was really actually depressed in june um and i just i couldn't deal with it because i had a mock exam week in the same month as going flying and that was just too much i had a lot more fun than i think i would have if i'd gone flying because um when you went flying it takes a really long time obviously um to 
get ready and you've got to wait for everyone else to have their go and each go is about half an hour long and there's only about four planes and so it takes a really really long time. But because I didn't go because I'd obviously been so panicked about it, I had to join the Navy for a day and I got to sort of spend the afternoon with some of my friends and I made some new friends and we played I don't even know what it was, it's like Danish long ball mixed with rugby it just got really crazy and we played it in the rain and it was so fun. Also PLL started again in June um, and I love PLL, it's just it's so good, I cannot wait for the next season to start. In July it was the end of term and I also had a ISA day. Which I did really well in that ISA, I got a A star and um, we also had an electronics day which it, it wasn't very fun if I'm honest. I also had my German speaking um, assessment. I did really well in that actually. I came out with a, I think it was a low A. I, I get really confused. It's either a low A or a really high B. Um, so I think it depends on the actual grade boundaries when it comes to my exam in the summer. We also went to Brighton, which I filmed for you guys. It's like a travel diary. Um, so I will link that in the eye. I went to go see Ghostbusters, which I loved that film so much. It was really funny. And I really liked the fact that they sort of empowered women in it as well. Then August, obviously, it was the summer holidays and to the Retro Festival, and I filmed three vlogs for that. If I can, I'll link them in the eye, and they'll pop up, but any videos that I mentioned which I filmed will be down below in the description if you would like to watch them. Also, in August, it was my results day. There's no point in me telling you my results from my science exams because I've already told you them. I also went to London again, which again, I filmed, um, and I filmed a haul for that, so pop them down below. And we also went to the Vine. Again, I filmed that. <laughs> I feel like this is just becoming a promo. It's not. This is actually things we did. I just, they're the most exciting things that happened that month. And I so happened to film them as well. So September, um, I joined VCS, which is Voluntary Community Service. And I enjoy it so, so much. Uh, I replaced RAF with that because we have to do something every other Friday afternoon because we don't have enough lessons to fill in our timetable. And so I decided to go work at a local primary school. Also in September, I released my first collab. Um, and I did another collab actually in the same month, so I will have them both linked down below and up here. Also, Life of Geek Teen um, gave me a shout out and I did thank her in a separate video, but thank you again. Um, I honestly cannot believe you guys actually have still stuck with me. Um, I'm truly, truly grateful. Um and I shall actually feature some of the most active people on the screen now. Um, you're always commenting and always like liking the videos and you're always so supportive of me and super super kind so I really do appreciate it. In October I had a, another um, German speaking exam and again I got a very similar mark, it was either a low A or a high B. I also ended up getting labyrinthitis, I think that was because I was revising so much for the German speaking and I stressed myself out because it can be caused by stress and fatigue. Basically labyrinthitis is like a problem with your ears and your eyes um, where it makes you really really dizzy and you experience vertigo and stuff like that. Um, but I did manage to get some pills from the doctor to help stop the dizziness and I managed to drag myself into school one day so that I could do house music. House music is my absolute favourite thing to do every single year at school um, and this year we sung Good Grief by Bastille and our choir actually won the choir section of the competition. In October as well I also had a Halloween party. I'm not one for parties um, but I decided to host one because why the heck not? Um, it was super fun and I actually filmed a video for that as well. Um, <laughs> I filmed a Halloween DIYs video, so again, link that up here. But yeah, that Halloween party went super, super well and everyone really enjoyed all the food that we made and all the decorations and it was really fun. In November, we went to see Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. God, I love that film so much. <laughs> we had an interviews day to practice our interviewing skills. And apparently I was really good at it, so um, yeah, I, I wasn't expecting that considering I didn't really prepare that much, but yeah. We also had an icy day again, and I got the exact same mark as the ice that I did earlier on in the year. So again, I got an A star. And then finally, we are in the month of December, which is when I'm filming this. And... So far I have had a mock exam week which went pretty well. I haven't got all of my results back but I do know that I got a B in my chemistry and a B in my physics um, exam which is pretty good because um, I revised the night before. So um, Also it was the end of term, I'm now in the holidays so that's why I'm filming this video in the daytime. Also we broke up from school which is why I'm filming this video and have been uploading vlogmases and all of that. Um, maybe I'll make a playlist of all my vlogmases so if you want to go see them go check them out as well. I had my birthday, I've 
I'm now 16, which is crazy because I don't feel responsible enough to be 16. I still feel like a 12 year old. Um, but then also we had Christmas, Christmas Eve, my grandparents came down, we ate out, which I was totally fine with, which is awesome. Um, and yeah, that's basically been my new year. So if you enjoyed this video, please give a massive thumbs up. It's greatly appreciated. Um, thank you for commenting and being a very loyal and caring family here on YouTube. And yeah, I shall see you in the new year. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,